Funding across the nation for education is not where it should be. We all know that. In Hillsborough County, we're a very large school district. We have over 215,000 students. We have over 240 school sites. 26 million square feet. We're as large as Rhode Island, square footage-wise. And well, operating costs are, are huge uh, in a large school district. We are over a $3 billion budget, $37 million a year just for our electric bill. Those optimal learning conditions that families want, that kids need, that teachers need to, to really do their jobs well, uh, comes at a cost. You have to look at those operating costs so we can drive more dollars into our classroom for great learning. The Aniscope, it's a software and hardware product in one unit. It allows us to look at how the energy is behaving, utilized, just to create a pattern or a behavior of that energy. It, it doesn't really take much, it's almost plug and play. This is a very simple install. They monitor not just one, but three or four panels at a time. This avoids you going into a live gear, getting all suited up, taking your amp probe and getting in here and reading it all the time. The loads that we're looking to monitor instantly start uploading data to the cloud base. It allows us to see what's invisible, visible. It also shows the efficiency of them. If you're supposed to be in a certain parameters of the air handle unit and you're exceeding those parameters, you know that unit is going bad. Anything that we do with respect to energy savings, we need to be able to quantify. Our business model calls out for no capital outlay. We don't want your money. We know that you are going to have an energy bill. We know that we're going to reduce energy. So we're just going after the saving from the energy bill to pay for the cost of the project. Enescope has an application that could actually, from anywhere, look at the data through the cloud base. It's a broadband type of solution. I can literally pull up a, a site in the Internet of Things, look at what the chilled water temperature is, look at what the AC is doing in each one of those rooms. When you look at the monitoring from the Enescope, we're able to identify that certain pieces of major equipment were not operating the way that they, they were supposed to. There's no difference between a weekend and a weekday profile wow, from look at Sunday. The base load. Yeah. And a kilowatts hour. That's a lot. You know, they might be unnecessarily running the HVAC system when they could easily switch it off and get some savings from there. It looks like projections are very similar, if not uh, exceeding what we had said. We're looking at a, at a 15 to 20% savings. And if we could capture 15 to 17% in energy saving from the overall energy consumed by that facility, we know that we have a home run. With the solutions that we have, we feel confident that we could reduce it close to 40%. And I think this is a great concept because we're saving the school money. And in the long run, it helps everybody out. Going forward, they ought to put this in every single office building, hospitals, etc. To, to do more with that money, to have that savings and put it back into the schools, we're just generating our own money. In a heartbeat, we would recommend it. I mean, it's cutting edge. It really is.